And there are nine night buses that serve Kingston, and they need to serve Kingston on a Friday and Saturday night. Because since I was a kid, there are a ton of nightclubs in Kingston, and on a Friday and a Saturday night, lots of people take buses home, and that's a great thing. But we're here on a Thursday night, and on a Thursday night, a lot of night buses are completely empty. We're here on the 85. There's still only two other people on the bus. There's a 57 behind us, and if you take a good look, that's almost empty as well. Of course you need a 24 hour service at night times on a Friday and a Saturday night in Kingston Town Centre. It's a hugely populous town centre. Do you really need it on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday night? Travelling virtually empty? Being subsidised by the taxpayer? No you don't. We need the buses running efficiently and speedily with passengers in them. Empty buses are not the answer. I'm Stephen Greenhalgh. I'm Boris's Deputy Mayor for Policing and Crime, but I'm very keen to set out the challenges for a future Mayor. And I believe, taking buses as often as I do, that a big challenge is to ensure that every single bus, every single bus, provides a fantastic service, becomes a Jobs Express for shift workers at peak times. But here we are, at a time of day which is not the peak time, at night, leaving Kingston Town Centre on a bus that is virtually empty. We're almost back home at Putney Bridge. We're at Putney Heath, Green Man. I was expecting maybe the odd person to join us. It'd be great to have some company here on the top deck of the 85. But still, no one is joining us. We're all alone. It's still a ghost bus. Wouldn't it be great to have some passengers? Otherwise, we're running a service that costs the Londoners a lot of money. Each bus journey is subsidised. Boris has got that subsidy down. But here we have the cost to the taxpayer not being spent by putting on buses at the times of the day or night when London is needed. Surely that's wrong. How do we get contracts with these bus companies? that reflect that you need a speedy bus at peak times. Well, we need outcomes-based contracts, performance contracts, contracts that reward the bus companies for providing a swift service at peak times for shift workers. We need to have an automated traffic signalling scoot rolled out right across our capital city. And we need the police officers to work hard to remove any obstructions at peak times that can stop people getting to work. Public transport is so important as part of the London economy, worth £350 billion a year. Getting to work is so critical for so many people. As Mayor, I will make sure that every single bus provides a Jobs Express for shift workers.